Okay, so this is a very, this is one of four albums from our 2017 trip over Thanksgiving. <sighs> this is actually not the thickest of all of the books. And I don't know which one it is because I just grabbed one off the shelf. Um, move my notebook. So um, it is a Disney album that I got at Joann's. <clears throat> um, I got it <coughs> since I have four, <coughs> since I have four of them, I probably got them on a, um, buy one, get two free. No, guys, this isn't from, um, our 2017 trip. I actually just grabbed one of my albums off the shelf and I was 99% sure that I knew which trip it was. It's not. This is from our first trip in 2014. Oh my gosh. And the only way I know that is, um, I no longer have, um, try to pull it up on my shoulder here real quick. I no longer have this particular paper that the Stitches Great Escape is on. Um, I, it was a, it is the watercolor pad from Walmart, I believe. And it's the only time we did Stitches Great Escape because it really aggravated, um, my asthma. And it's the one time that we've done Enchanted Tales with Belle. And Sam was, um, one of the knights in armor. Oh my gosh. So this is why a scrapbook is so amazing because you get to go back and relive those memories. We went to be our guest um, for my birthday right before Mickey's um, not so scary Halloween party. So I will show you, I will lift up the album because you have to understand this is really heavy. I will lift up the album and show you and then I will take out the layout page by page and show you the layouts. Okay. These are heavy, guys. You do not understand. Unless you have scrapbooks, you do not understand how heavy these are. Okay, so this is the layout. And I apologize if it's not a good angle. I'm trying to, I can't see the camera over the album. So, okay, here is page one. And it says, Be Our Guest. And I use the Mickey font from one of the retired Disney cartridges. So... Okay, there we go. So here it is. It says, Be Our Guest. And it's got a photo of Sam and I um, in front of the Enchanted Rose photo or a mosaic window. And then, of course, Be Our Guest um, shield out front. And then this is simply a photo that I found on Pinterest. And it says, Tale as Old as Time. And it's got the rose on it. And I think it's one of, like, the photos that you can use for, like, um... Oh, it's the Simplified Scrapbooking. It's the Pick Scrapbooking. And I can't remember exactly what the name is. And if I remember the name of it, I will insert it, you know, in this area. I will look it up and let you know. Um, oh my gosh, this is so much memories, guys. Um, Beauty of a Scrapbook. I, I cannot tell you. Beauty of a Scrapbook. So I did a little bit of journaling. And the journaling card is an, is retired. It's from Creative Memories. Um, and these are photos of the ins like inside of the restaurant. So you've got the music box up here. You've got the chandelier. You've got the rose napkin. You've got a picture of the ceiling. And then this is the rose in the rest west wing. And I'll read you the journaling. For my birthday, we usually eat out. Being at Disney World was no different. We ate at the new Be Our Guest restaurant in New Fantasyland. Sam had the pork chops and I had the steak. OMG, everything was amazing. I had the French onion soup as an appetizer and we shared our chocolate dessert with the gray stuff. Plus, we both received extra gray stuff for my birthday. And then we got to meet the beast. So that was the journaling on that layout. Um, the next layout is a uh, simply, um, one of the birthday cards that you get, um, from on your birthday. It says happy birthday. And 
On the inside, it says Bonjour, Belle, and the Beast, and it's cut in half. And it's got a picture of our shared dessert, and then my dessert, the extra gray stuff with the candle. And the other side of the layout is our picture with the Beast, a picture of the castle, and then a magic shot with Lumiere. So let me pick this, I'll show it, and then I will share with you the layouts individually. So here is the layout. I'm trying not to like drop it because it's it's heavy on one side with all of the pages being mainly on one side right now. Okay. So here is this side. You can see it's the card and I simply cut it apart. Um, so because the writing was all on one side, I did have some other cards that had multiple characters. And so what I did was I made a photocopy of the um, side that I was going to have to glue down because like it was on the back of the main part of the card so that I had both sides. And then as you can see, here is the, the dessert that Sam and I bought. And then here was mine with a candle. And because it was a, it was actually the opening night for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party that year. And um, they put Halloween confetti with my gray stuff for my birthday. It was such a magical first trip. Okay. And then here is our picture with the beast. Here's our picture with the beast, beast castle, and then our magic shot with Lumiere. And this was back when Memory Maker still had like the stickers and the um, the signatures that you could put in like from Memory Maker. Oh, so many fantastic memories. Mickey's not so scary. Uh, we got to meet the Queen of Hearts. Um, we got magic shots at the Haunted Mansion. Um... We, we watched Hello Wishes. I think it's one of the only times that we've um, stayed for fireworks. Um, I did this because it was in 2014. It was before I owned my Explorer. So I had um, just a Cricut expression. I think. Yeah, I had my expression too. And so I really couldn't make anything um, like really intricate. Um, I didn't really know how. I didn't have, like you couldn't use SVG files, which are scaled vector files. So I had to buy a lot of that stuff. Like I didn't, like you don't think about how much you spend until you go back and look. I'm trying to find like a nice layout to show you guys because like my scrapbooking has evolved um, since then. Okay, here, I'll give you an, ex here's an example of something that I can make now as opposed to something that I had to buy um, six years ago. So my goal um, with this particular scrapbook um, I remember it very well because I went back and forth to the local Alco store, um, which um, Alco is now bankrupt. You know, they're out of business now, um, but they had a photo machine in there. And so I was going down to print um, five by seven photos like for every time we changed parks, I, I scrapped chronologically. And so every time I was at, like, we changed parks, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have a photo. I'm headed down to Alco again so that I could make sure that things got done correctly. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. So this Animal Kingdom um, piece right here, I bought this at a store um, in Wichita, Kansas it's called, it's called Scrap Fanatic. And I will link to their website down below. They are a fantastic store. If you are in the Midwest, um, near Wichita and um, make sure and check them out. They're self-owned in Andover. I can't say enough good things about them. If you saw my live streams back in October, November timeframe of the garage sale, <coughs> the scrapbook garage sale I went to, it's at Scrap Fanatic and you will love their website. Anyway, so I bought this and now I have the cap capabilities to make this particular type of piece. 
Um, and then as you can see, here's like I was talking about, um, five by seven photo, um, for this particular type of page. And then I did, um, journaling. I made a huge Mickey head and then I took and put a, a circle inside of it and I drew lines and I journaled a quick synopsis of the day. And I would, and on one side I put the date, like, so what date? So this one was September 11th. So apparently we went to Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. And the journaling simply says, after a day of rest, we went to Animal Kingdom. So this must be, um, after, cause we had the full day in Ma Magic Kingdom with um, the Halloween party. And then we had a rest day and then we, this is the following day. Um, after a day of rest, we went to animal kingdom. This was another slight disappointment. Kilimanjaro Safari was awesome. It was so neat to see the animals up close. The awesome thing about this ride is that you can ride it multiple times and it'd be different. Kai Ripper rabbits was a huge disappointment. We hardly got wet. It, I remember it was really hot that day and we were really wanting to get wet. After that, we went to Festival of the Lion King show. One word, amazing. It is. If you have not seen Festival of the Lion King, you have to see it. We had front row seats and it was awesome. Apparently, I was going through an awesome phase. After lunch, we decided to go to Hollywood Studios for the afternoon where we got to meet Phineas and Ferb. Hollywood Studios is our favorite park by far this visit. So I didn't mention anything about Animal Kingdom or Magic Kingdom. But here is the um, journaling block that I made. Um, so I'm going to flip through this particular day and see why I didn't journal about Magic Kingdom. Did I write Magic Kingdom and not mean to, which totally could have probably happened. All right. So we've got park maps and Animal Kingdom and Festival of the Lion King and an empty page. Oh, and this is what I mean about Lena not getting. Oh, I actually, <laughs> this is an empty page, literally. And then it's missing things and then if the frozen summer of fun chippendale and stitch <coughs> the beauty and the beast show that is the only time i've ever seen it and we it took us until this day to find the singing in the rain spot and then i have another blank page i don't know if i meant to print photos for these and didn't or what I'm not quite sure okay so apparently we did not go to Magic Kingdom that day and I wrote it down instead of writing Hollywood Studios or what happened was I pre-made these and um our goal was to go to Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom that day and we decided to do it differently Um, and you can see I've got pages that aren't even in my book because I don't know why, but I guess I will show these to you because they are out of the book and easier works for you guys, right? So this is when Wreck-It Ralph had just came out and we, um, were able to meet Ralph and Penelope. So here's Wreck-It Ralph. They give you a card. I'm trying to see if you can see what you guys are saying. I have to remember where my camera is. <laughs> and then we, uh, Phineas and Ferb were still meeting at that point. You can see I was pretty obsessed with this particular font. Um, and I thought because I was doing a Disney book, I had to use just one particular Disney font through it. And I'm really glad that I have evolved in my scrapbooking over time. Now, this is something that I miss. Lights, Motor, Action, um, Stunt Spectacular. That was really cool to watch. Um, I just did really basic um, photos for this. Um, I used red paper for fire, obviously. So that was pretty cool when they lit the, all the stuff on fire. And then Lightning McQueen came out. So that is 
one of the scrapbooks from our first trip, which was a fun little jaunt down memory lane. Sorry about that. That was a really fun jaunt down memory lane. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, do you guys do any kind of handcraft? Do you make your own bread? Do you sew? Do you scrapbook? Do you craft in any way? Do you do woodworking? Sam loves to do woodworking. He just has been so busy with work and um, the past year so that he really hasn't been able to do it. But I know that he will be working on a very special project um, sometime this summer. And um, I will definitely make sure to get some video footage for you of that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other channels who are participating in this collab. The list is down below. Huge thank you to Christy from Christy's Corner. One, for inviting me, and two, for coming up with this collab. Thank you so much. We'll see you later. Bye.